Hi guys, my name is JP. Welcome to Free Ride Quebec. Today we're in beautiful saint de moulin in Quebec City. And I'm going to show you a couple of trails on the Maelstrom sector. So we're going to do a couple black and double black trail. So we're going to start with one named the Haut Maelstrom or the High Maelstrom in English. So this one is a single black diamond. I'm going to have just a bit of hiking to do like this. Two on top. And then we're going to have a wonderful view on the top of the trail before going to Loam and the North Shore Bridges. So I'll see you on top. So I ain't much of a climber. This one is pretty special. Climb on the slab all the way to the top. Not very long. It takes less than a minute maybe. So get right here to the highest point on the mountain. I might see some people passing by going into a kite du ranks. But for us, this is the Haute Maelstrom. Those small not sure, bridges and we need to climb in order to get from high point to high point. But that was take it climb. Oh my good. <laughs> yeah. Almost had it. <laughs> Okay, not bad. <laughs> yep, so usually I always start with this one. It's a good practice run, not too hard. It's perfect to see if your bike is properly set up. Another nice vintage point. More downhill. So far, so good. So the Maltzum sector is basically a mountain with people buying and renting cabins. So we're basically riding just below where those cabins are built. So the owner of the place are nice enough to let the sunsets moonlight build some place around the property. As long as people don't yell, whoa, what time of day? Hop. So, pretty much the end for La Haute Maelstrom. Okay. So, up to the next one. 
So, next one we're gonna do, it's called La Granitosor. But just before, we'll start with a new entrance right here, which is called Le Book. I don't know what book is in English. What's the translation? Like yeah, a goat but with bigger horns. I'll need to try and find this one on Google. So this trail has been built by Ben Bouchard, who's a builder here with Sansi Dunay as well as El Bicycle. See how it goes. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here? Lots of roots, lots of rocks. Love it. Here. <laughs> way I guess <laughs> yeah that's it so this is pretty straightforward you always follow the granite and we'll find some trails <laughs> love it <laughs> we need to try a bike of trails. <laughs> Bit of climb here I guess. Yeah. So I don't know was it looking on the Euro 11 but it's a <laughs> fail. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. And one last feature. Wow. Oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> so it basically connects with the beginning of the Granitozor. Which should be my left somewhere here. Yeah, that's it. So, basically save an access road right there. So, Granitos are. The Granitos are. Let's see how it goes. For those who are wondering, I'm riding an evil insurgent mix. One seventy in front, one sixty eight at the back. Oh. It's a very hard track to link all together. I think I did it once without at least putting one feet on the ground. I've got a few riders in front. I think there might be builder here. Not sure. So. Kind of trail that you need to have your bike perfectly set up because there's so much compression zones. You don't want to dive into them. And both my shots. 
shock and fork just comes out of service so it react much better than a couple weeks ago so okay okay just gonna try to take one last picture of the Garanitozor this year so basically October 30th 30th so I don't think we have much more riding time in Sanchez Moulin this year probably the last one honestly Good. Pro line here, I haven't tried yet. Yeah, so like I said, there's a pro line here I haven't done before, and I don't feel it today. I haven't ridden a lot in the past month. I don't feel like pushing my limits. Not today. That would be shitty to a big crash at the end of the year. Oh, this one ain't bad. The approach is in the pro line. Basically this part right here that is. Oh did it cut a tree? Oh that helps. Okay. So far so good. That part probably seems like a flow trail but trust me it isn't There's a lot of rocks hidden under these leaves. Huh. That's good. Of course it was possible to get this one, but it was a bit high, so I blocked it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm slowly yep. finding my reflex. That's a good thing. No, it's the end of trail, so. That was the Granitozor. We have the Slap City. Just driving right there. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna go back on top and we'll see what we do. I think I have an idea. See you on top. So, next one. We're gonna go with a trail called La Magneto. So, once again, double black. It's a new trail from last year. Well, almost slipped. It's a trail that I had the chance to try before a lot of people here to get some footage. So, time I'm doing it this year so I'll be careful so basically the magnet hill is not a mountain bike trail it's much of a hiking trail but 
That's the way we like it. Oh, still on the bike. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to pull off. So. An easy one called a vortex. Oops. So this trail has been made by LB Cycle. It's some of the gnarliest trail. LB Cycle has come to to this day. This bar is pretty gnarly. First time I'm doing it on. Nice. I'll skip the pro line. Not because it's hard, but I'll try and make a decent time on Strava. <laughs> it's okay, you can laugh. <laughs> uh, this way. I'd say the shoot before the pro line is the hardest part. First time I'm doing it, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> hey, God. So far, so good. Oh my god. I forgot how much this trail was challenging. Oh my god. Yep. There's some techy climb to get to the Let's say vantage point. And the hard as fuck. Oh my god. I'll try the one on the left. a bit of strength in the leg <sighs> to do this taking okay so far so good <sighs> by the foot that I've seen the next section for the most challenging for most of the people I didn't have too many problems with it first time I did it Need to control the braking like this like this to get this beautiful view Far so good. Still a bit of technical climb. Now I'm stuck. Still on the bike. I'm touched. The ground. Oh wow. And that shoot uh, is catch. Oh, but okay. I don't know how it evolved. 
evolved. Okay. line there what the fuck okay usually the trail goes there i think i took uh, a section that was done by people <laughs> it's an inventing trail whoa lost my traction fuck happened there <laughs> I think the rebound of my shark behave in a strange way what happened here I lost my traction not sure if it's at the front or the back but I'll need to take a look at the replay <laughs> I've got most of the magneto done And we arrived. We arrived, I'm sorry. Here. It's in the section of the Velociraptor. Got something loose in the bottom. Oh, that's the fork. Okay, I'll be careful then. Okay, I'll skip this one. I'll skip this one and the reason is that I'm losing traction on the front, so I think I might be a bit too loose on my coil at the back. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, toy. Ah, seems all good. So now we basically merge with a trail called La Velociraptor. So, officially, Magneto is done. Uh. What was the line here? Ooh! Not my best approach. Need to do that again. Anyway, I messed up my time and straw, so who cares? Yeah, the line is on the right. Then you cut on the left. Something like this. And like this, okay. Pretty good. Basically, the Velociraptor, it's uh, <coughs> kind of a faster trail than the Granitos, or what they look like. A lot. You can connect them pretty easily. So the Granitos are just the slow tech one and the Velociraptor is a bit faster. Here we go. I'm faster. Section here on the rocks. Can get decent speed on these slabs. I 
getting a bit of traction in the front. That's weird. But this seems to be the shock. Back. Oh. Pretty much the end. I'm a bit tired, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one more climb. I wanted to do a small Wolverine, but it means I have to go back, climb back twice. We'll see. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the end. I don't want to wreck myself. Well, last day of the year. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this little episode in English. You might have seen Julie Free at Quebec. It's a small French-speaking channel. So, once in a while, I'll try to do stuff in English. And I don't mess up too much with my pronunciation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next episode of Free Ride Quebec. If you did enjoy the content, give it a thumbs up. That helps tremendously. We we'll still have a minute. I'm gonna show you something cool. This is the return of the Kreis of Durang. Still in Santis I'm gonna take this one. One cool ending, huh? Many lines to choose from.